What's going on guys? I've got a 2008 Mazda 6 with a 2.3 liter engine. And I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the one fuse and the one relay for the operation of the starter. So both of those are gonna be under the hood. Behind this cover here, which you remove by just pushing on these tabs and lifting upward. Now the fuse for the starter, it actually provides power to the ignition switch as well. It's gonna be this 40 amp J case fuse. So you can peer down through the top of it to see if it's blown. If you wanna remove it, you just grab it with some needle nose, twist it sideways as you pull up. Now the starter relay is this relay right here. And my favorite way to troubleshoot this is have someone hold the key in the start position while I tap the relay. Sometimes the relay will get stuck and you can just tap it to kind of free it up. If you do that and the car starts up, then you know that the relay is bad. Another troubleshooting step that you can do is you can swap this relay with another relay, just as a troubleshooting step. So for example, if your horn works, you know your horn relay works. So that would be a good relay to swap in, a known good relay. Now let's go ahead and remove this. You just do it the same way as the fuse. You just wiggle it while you pull up. And looking at these pins here, I just want to point out to you real quick, there are two smaller pins right here and right here. One of those receives power from the ignition switch when you turn the key to the start position. The other one receives a ground. This ground originates in the powertrain control module and it, pa it passes through either your neutral safety switch if you've got an automatic or your clutch safety switch if you have a manual. Now when you get the power and the ground coming in, the relay just connects these two pins together. So you can actually connect these two pins together yourself and that should result in the engine turning over. Just be sure not to do that if the car is in gear. And one last thing I wanna point out to you, this particular model, it's manual, so there's a clutch. I wanna point out to you the location of the clutch safety switch. This is a safety device that prevents you from starting the car unless you're pushing the clutch in. So it's gonna be way up there. You can disconnect that and bridge those two wires together to bypass that switch. Again, I really don't recommend doing that unless it's a troubleshooting step. Um, the effect of doing that is you will be able to start the car even without pushing in the clutch. So yeah, that's about it. I hope this info was helpful for you guys. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions. More importantly, if you've got any advice about troubleshooting the starter on your Mazda 6.